today. I could be making a huge mistake, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so it is sn actively snowing outside. Like I'm talking real snow, um, like it's coming down. But um, I took a rest day yesterday because man, that FTP test freaking wiped me out. I was super sore, but I gotta get back into the swing of things for the main channel. So I, uh, I built up a snow bike, if you will. You, you'll just have to wait to see the, uh, the main channel video. Actually, I don't know if they're, they could be coming out like the same day. I, I don't even know, but um, it's not a fat bike. It's what I'm calling a monster tail. Um, so it has 26 by 2.8 inch tires and uh, it should be really fun. I mean, fat bikes, I've never ridden one before, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna buy a bike for snow when it snows three days a year. So I'm hoping that this does the trick. And uh, I mean, it is snowing pretty good right now. I'm hoping it's not a mistake. And uh, dude, it is the cold. So the other day when I did the gravel ride, it was by far the coldest ride that I've ever done. Well, not by far, but it was 28 degrees. Today, it's four degrees. So I have like full on snow gear, like ski gear. Um, and I'm ready, dude, I'm, I'm ready. I think this will be exciting. I just, I don't know how the trail conditions are gonna be, uh, but we're gonna find out, dude. I gotta get my riding in, you know? So I only hit like six and a half hours last week. I don't know, I'm, I'm kinda at the point where I'm like, should I care about like hitting that number? It's just an imaginary number in my head. So I'm leaning towards no. You know, it'd be nice to hit you know, eight hours a week, but I'm not gonna kill myself to do it. And plus I, I spent like 10 hours recording a video of that bike build yesterday. So, um, shoot, I gotta get some gas. Hopefully I can pull this off in the snow. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, so, um, I'm thinking this should go okay. Like. I am decked out in gear. Um, I wasn't able to bring my uh, my carb drink, but then I was thinking like, if it's this cold outside, won't the drink just freeze? So I got my Camelback um, and that should stay warm for my body heat, maybe. So we'll see. But uh, it, it's just gonna be like a free ride, basically. It's like, you're not gonna be able to hit like a, well, I'm not gonna be able to hit a, um, structured ride the you know like zone two i'll try to keep it in zone two try to keep it chill but i mean i don't even know how they i don't even know if i'm gonna have traction i mean right now i, I timed this on purpose when it just started snowing so that way there's still some dirt on the ground not just like packed snow everywhere but with it being this cold the snow should be light and i should have traction hopefully but uh, i'm gonna get fueled up here and uh, i'll see you on the trail Oh. All right, here we go. First ride. <laughs> so I got a, I got a bunch of layers on, and I got my full face with some roll-offs. So I'm hoping that uh, keeps the uh, cold away. But it, it's coming down now. There's no way I'm finding dirt right now. But I'm gonna start with a uh, a paved flow trail, and we'll see how this goes. All right, here it goes. Yeah, so the snow's not, oh yeah. Yeah, the snow's not uh, gonna be wet at all because it's so cold. Looks like someone's already been through here. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I got traction. Ooh, I gotta cover my mouth though.
Yeah, I have not broke traction at all. Uh, this bike feels just like a, a hardtail should. Ooh, I'm gonna find some cover and uh, get my mouth straight <laughs> squared away. <laughs> See if I can hit a steep section right now. <laughs> yeah, this is cool, man. Oh, my hands are cold. Oh, oh shit, that was ice. Okay, got all squared away. Mouth is covered. Now this is slippery. We'll see if I can get traction. Oh man, snow makes a weird noise. <laughs> All right, so far so good. I'm going to keep riding. I think this is a a win. So I might still do a trainer ride today. I don't know how good of a workout you can get riding in these kind of conditions. Just not too sure. One thing I'm gonna do is I brought some plastic gloves. I'm gonna go put them on my hands right now. Hopefully block some of that wind. Other than that, I feel warm, kind of. Oh, look, I dropped my phone <laughs> in the, uh, before the last run. Poor phone, is it still on? Yeah, it's still on. <laughs> what? Shoot. Okay, whatever. We're still on, so. It's gonna cut off my Strava time. All right, let's try out these little trails next to the street. I can definitely feel the big benefits of the big tires. The big benefits. They definitely soften up everything. Yeah, I'll do a little jump. Yeah. Ooh, that took a lot of effort. <laughs> well guys, 
I think I gotta head back. <laughs> I don't think this is working out. My uh, my pinky, I can't feel it. I cannot feel it and it hurts. So it's like, I put thicker gloves on right now. Maybe it'll come around, but I gotta just head back to the car before. I was just about to go down this trail and it's pretty much the point of no return. Uh, and it's just probably not a good idea. My pinky, ah, yeah, shit. Well, I don't know. Let, let me think on it while I head back to the car and then I'll check in with you. All right, I made it back to the car and just these uh, winter gloves, the ski gloves, that did the trick of my pinky, so that's good news. So, I'm gonna move forward. I haven't even ridden actual trail yet, so I'm gonna just do a little loop around uh, around the car and back, and we'll see how it goes. And I'm actually gonna ditch the goggles, man. They were like uh, freezing up on the inside. They're not ski goggles, so yeah, I'm just gonna wing it just like this. I uh, I hope it uh, hope it works. <laughs> So you might be wondering why why am I even doing this? <laughs> Just call it a snow day, ride inside. Well, a part of me I really like riding in uh, the winter time. I'm gonna go as far as saying uh, I like riding in the winter more than I like riding in the summer. At least here in Bentonville, Phoenix was another story. Oh. Wish I had some goggles. Yeah. So I have limited dexterity with uh, the snow gloves, that's for sure. Get a little downhill going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh... That's not good. Uh. 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 Yeah, any kind of downhills are rough because of the wind, man. Straight into my eyeballs. But other than that, this concept totally works, dude. If I had the right gear, I mean, I could be riding for hours right now. I will say I'm not cold. Man, snow makes a funny noise. Oh. oh yeah, here's a jump. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going too slow. Yeah.
Uh, do I hit this little drop? Baby drop. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I did this. Whew. Heck yeah. A little turn going. Had traction. Yeah, dude. This project is officially a win. Now, let's get back to the car. Well, I, I would love to continue riding. I was actually, I think I could get a good workout in um, with my monster tail. <laughs> so it's just that I don't have the right gear. I know I'm making excuses. I don't have the right gear. If I would have had ski goggles, maybe a different helmet or something, I think I could have made this work. And uh, I might ride tomorrow. It just all depends if it turns into ice or not. I might ride outside tomorrow. I mean, I was warm for the most part. Um, I don't know. I, th I think you could get a good workout in on the snow, uh, riding a bike, <laughs> which sounds so weird to me because I'm from freaking Phoenix. So I, I've officially ridden in, uh, zero degrees and I've ridden in 120 degrees. So it's pretty funny. Now I just got to get this car warmed up so I can get out of here. Um, but I'm not done for today. I, uh, I'm going to ride the trainer. I'm going to get at least an hour in. Oh, I should turn off my uh, Strava. Remember the, the Strava totally, well, I dropped my phone in the snow and it was there for like 30 minutes. So let's say, oh, it says I rode 18 minutes. Nah, it was more like 30 minutes moving time. But uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that was pretty, pretty different, man. Oh man, my pinky though. Hopefully that's all right. It's, it's like, I don't know, to touch it's like, it doesn't feel super good. Probably not a good idea to be risking my toes uh, just to ride, especially when I can ride inside. Ugh. But I mean, it didn't snow like this last year. I, this is like a special opportunity. Let's see. Yeah, this is like a special opportunity. I don't want to miss out on, I mean, this is totally cool. You know, there's a dude drifting over there. Yeah, so I'm gonna carb up, I'm gonna get ready, and then uh, I'll see you on the trainer. Man, <clears throat> I'm actually super glad I got on the trainer. It's uh, almost 8 p.m. now, so several hours later. My pinky still hurts, dude. So, Man, I, I think if I didn't hop on the trainer tonight, I don't know, this, this whole day would have kind of seemed like a, like a failure to me. And uh, that wouldn't have done well for my mental status. And I, I didn't really realize that until I hopped on the trainer right now. And I'm like pedaling and I'm like, ooh yeah, I like this, this feels good. So there's a, there's a YouTuber, Biker, B1KER. He's one of the true OGs out there. He's been bugging me. It's like, you gotta check out this uh, Dirt Destroyer, Dirt Crusher, something like that. It's a plan on Zwift. 
And I don't know if I'm up for that physically, but I've, I put it on back to basics. And it's like, uh, it's like zone one, zone three, zone four. So not zone two at all, which is quite interesting. And there's a whole block right here coming up like one minute at 200 watts, one minute at 200 watts. But one's a high cadence, one's a low cadence. So I don't know if that's gonna work out. <laughs> I really only wanna go for 45 minutes. So I got like a solid hour in. With my phone in the snow, all that was recorded was 18 minutes of moving time. But I was for sure riding for 20 minutes. So I got kind of gypped there. But yeah, my, my pinky, it's like, it's like internal damage from that little bit of, uh, I call it frostbite, but tell me if it's actual frostbite. But yeah, my, my finger just went super numb, like immediately. So much so that it was like hurting. I had to get off my glove and like tend to my finger, like urgently. And then I kind of pressed on and then it just went completely numb. So that was kind of scary. But the color looks good. Looks like all the other fingers. So, <laughs> but um, just like looking at the snow bike, I can see it from here. I mean, I'm pumped on it. I, uh, I can't wait to get out and ride it again. Looking at the weather, tomorrow's 15 degrees. The day after that is 38 degrees. So we'll play it by ear. I might do one more day of uh, trainer and then do an official snow ride. But we'll see. We'll see about that. So I'll, I'll keep this video rolling. I'll do like two minutes of the 200 and uh, just to kind of show you what, what, it's, what it's up to. But this is what I'm going for, for the uh, base training to where I can just get on the bike and it feels kind of easy. And uh, just hopping on right now, I'm only going 120 watts, but it feels easy. Like it feels like my body wanted this. I'm pretty excited for that. I looked it up about the weight gain and they're saying there's something called the endurance 15. People can gain almost 15 pounds when they start endurance training. That's wild. I guess glycogen or eating carbs causes you to retain water. I had no clue. Okay, so 85 RPM to 200. I definitely have been retaining water a lot and just like feeling super hydrated. And luckily my headaches, there's a, I've had a lot less headaches. And uh, I think my headaches are mainly from dehydration. Yeah, it feels good to push 200 watts. It's given me a education on RPM. The people really not know what RPM is. Maybe they think uh, mountain bikers don't know what cadence means. Okay, so 65. It's gonna go like this. Well, that's hard standing up. Yeah, this feels like a punchy little climb. This kind of mimics like the trail that I do Medusa. It's just like, boom, like 16% grade. 
but really short. And man, it's hard to hit 150 watts when it's 16% grade. It's usually like 250. All right, one more little block and I'm gonna focus up here. Oh, that's tough keeping the 200 the whole time. Okay. Oh, it's nice. That was a nice transition. The 200 watts feels so different and just changing the cadence like that. It's almost give me like a little rest period. Yeah. Maybe uh, Robert from Biker Channel is, uh, is onto something here. I did get super sore from that FTP test though. Like my back was toast. It felt like I, could, like I did a weightlifting routine. All right. I'm gonna pause that. I'm gonna do as much as I can here. And I'll check back in with you. All right, well, I made it uh, 33 minutes and then my, uh, my freaking phone died. So it's not my day, but it's funny, uh, listening to the European cyclocross uh, podium interviews, uh, Tom Pidcock will be like, I was blowing, meaning like he bonked, that's what we call it over here. He's like blowing wind and uh, that program called for like three minutes at FTP and that, uh, that hurt kind of bad. <laughs> I was blowing. So, I mean, it is what it is. And then I uploaded it to Strava. Today's Sunday for me. I upload it to Strava and I'm like, okay, let me check how much time I have on the new week. And Sunday counts towards the previous week. I don't know. I, I wasn't aware of that. So it says, this week I'm finishing it off with six hour, six and a half hours, which I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, given that I just really killed myself on that gravel ride, I won't be doing that again, but uh, shorter gravel rides from here on out. I gotta build my way. Don't do a four hour ride unless you're, you've done a three hour ride <laughs> and I had only done a two and a half hour ride. So um, I don't know, I, I really, uh, I, I, like I said, I'm happy that I, I hopped on the bike and got some more time in. And uh, that to me was was more for my mental space to show like, hey, you didn't fail today on the on the snow ride. You still got the legs, you got some power. So uh, there's a lot of positives to take away from this. And, uh, and moving forward, I'm gonna have to balance, you know, making bike build videos and training videos. And uh, I hope to kind of bridge those two together a little easier. Um, like I was trying to use footage from this for the main channel, like in the car narration stuff, but it, it, it didn't flow naturally, so I recorded them separately. Um, I know you guys like me talking kind of naturally, and I like talking naturally too, but sometimes for the, the main videos, you just gotta get to the point fast, you know? Um, so I'll figure it out one day. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Maybe another day a trainer. Uh, but I'm really curious what the snow uh, denseness is going to be like. Is it going to be ice? I have no clue. But thanks for uh, tagging along with me on this uh, interesting day, <laughs> if you will. Uh, if you made it this far, comment blizzard. <laughs> All right, guys. See ya.